hello you guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a really long time since i made a video um i've just been really like extremely busy with everything um so i don't really don't have time like that but i'm gonna make time like you know i'm gonna get into it because a lot of my followers even some of my students have found me like on youtube so I'm going to um, try to do better with it. Like, you know, y'all just stay on top of me with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Posting my comments like, hey, we're going to get another video. Or, hey, can you do a video on this? Can you do a video on that? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I went on live the other day. And, like, um, when somebody asked about YouTube, like, you know, so I was, like, you know, asking, like, you know, what's some things that y'all want to know? And some people, like, you know, I mean, tricks, tips. But a lot of, I got a lot of reviews. I mean, I'm going to say a lot of reviews, but a lot of people want to just be like, you know, like some motivational things or whatever. So, I'm going to just be honest with y'all. Like, just starting a business, period, is difficult and you always going to go through things. You get what I'm saying? There's never going to be a point in business where, like, everything's going to be smooth sailing. It's perfect. Ain't nothing going on. You're just making money. Like, it's never like that. It's always going to be up and down. You're always going to have problems. And you're every, you can't satisfy everybody. Um, I even know, like, for me, personally, um, there's been times, like, I can't satisfy everybody, like, you feel me? Um, I can't do everybody lashes, I can't satisfy everybody, um, but at the same time, it's like, when you a boss, you pay the cost to be the boss, you feel me? So, um, your rules are your rules, you feel me? And some, sometimes, people, like, us, everybody is different. I'm not gonna say, like, I'm a, I'm not a mean person, but I'm a very, like, firm person. You get what I'm saying? So, like, whatever I say, it goes. That's it. No ifs, ands, buts about it. I don't argue. I don't do all the extra. You know, and then you have some people who's, more, like, more lenient. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're more nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Like, you know, okay, cool. Like, that's not me. You get what I'm saying? I'm, when you have a business, like, you got to be firm in it. Like, if you have a rule, let it be, rule be that rule, and that's it. Um, Sometimes, like, we as beauty professionals can get too comfortable with our clients where our clients may feel like, you know, they can do whatever or, you know what I'm saying, um, they can do whatever they want to do. But you got to understand, like, when you're a business owner, like a real legit business owner, because some people have, like, business owner, like, you know, oh, I got a side hustle. But, like, when you're a legit, like, business owner, you can set the rule. There's nothing in the rule book that says, like, oh, I can't do this or you can't do that. Like, you can do whatever you want to do. You can set your price the way you want, your rules the way you want. And and the people who who wants, who's with that, that's the money you're going to get. The people that you're, that's not kind of with it, like, you know, they don't be like, oh, and I don't really like, I don't really like her rules or she got too many rules. That, that They're not even meant to be your clientele, period. Um, But... You're not going to be able to satisfy everybody all the time. You know, people going to call you unprofessional. That's people's favorite word. They don't call you unprofessional. They don't say, this is why you can't support black businesses. They're going to be like, okay, well, that was wrong. Everybody going to have their own opinion of how you do it. And you just got to be firm with it and just be like, okay, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let it affect me. Like, you know, blah, blah. Um, also, like, I just want to tell a lot of y'all on some, on some real shit, y'all are bomb as fuck. Ah, it's some girls who be lashing. I'm like, oh yeah, you you fly, like you 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 nice. You know what I'm saying? You real fly with it. Cause us being on social media, you probably thinking like, oh, I'm not good. Like one thing about it, like you gotta think very highly of yourself. Because if you don't, like who will? Like who will? You gonna have some people call you trash. You gonna have some people say, oh yeah, you you okay or yeah, she alright. Like you know what I'm saying? But you gotta think highly of yourself. Because I know, like for me. One thing about me, like, when I was lashing, when I was doing girls, I wasn't trying to be like nobody else. I was just trying to get down the basics. I wasn't skipping steps, okay? So, and when I say skipping steps, like, I was getting down the basics. Like, I started off with the basics. My isolation was good. My timing was good. Everybody need to get down the basics. I know, you know, we all on Instagram, and everything seems, you know, one way, you know, y'all like... <clears throat> I understand, like, you know what I'm saying, the way people ask, like, you know, be fire, blah, blah, I understand, like, you know, a lot of y'all just want to skip steps and go straight to volume. But when y'all do stuff like that, it really hurts you in the long run. Because I've seen it happen so many times. For me, I got down to basics first. Like, you know, my sets wasn't good. My sets wasn't full. My timing was bad. You know what I'm saying? But I never stopped. Like, I always kept going. Um, isolation was my biggest thing. I got that down. I got the isolation down. All right, let me get my speed. You know what I'm saying? Let me... 
start applying these lashes like you know what i'm saying more faster let me start okay now i'm doing it faster all right let me not not worry about the speed but then let's focus on the look you get what i'm saying um so that's one thing i have to really make sure that everybody understands because like when a time and error everybody wants stuff to happen fast i get it but when it comes to this stuff with entrepreneur like it don't nothing really come fast you got to work for everything and if you don't really work people gonna be able to tell it you know um because people can actually like go on instagram people will actually look and be like nah her work look too clumpy it look too something like you know what I'm saying? it's it's always something um but like i said in early you can't really please everybody so um but yeah i've been lashed for three years my work has not always looked like that I don't delete nothing so y'all can scroll all the way down like y'all can see the progress in my work um excuse me but don't stop don't give up <sighs> excuse me you're bomb okay don't let the followers think that you're not bomb <sighs> why do you fuck out of burp and i'm not burping i'm sorry but you're bomb just because you don't have that many followers on instagram you feel like oh i only got a thousand or oh, i don't have that many the money it's about money, you guys. It's about money. Y'all need to realize that it's about the money. Are you making the money that you want to make? Are you happy with the money that you're making? If you're not happy with your bookings, then maybe, like, you know, you need to work on your content. You know, um, work on your content more. Make sure you post in. Make sure you post on your Instagram, your Instagram story. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. But long as, like, you're doing that, like, everything else is going to come. Like, you know, you got to... Is that a dog? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, you got to cross your T's and dot your I's and make sure that you're doing everything you're supposed to do. And when you're doing everything you're supposed to do, everything else is going to come. Like, I know for me, for instance, um, I was focused on the look of the lashes. You know what I'm saying? There were certain looks I wanted to do, that, and I didn't just stop. Because sometimes it be sounds like you may try out stuff, and you be like, darn, like, I really don't like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but does that mean you're going to stop trying it? Like, no, you got to keep going. Like, you know, everything's about, like, keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all depending on, like, who wants it more. Who who really want it more? You want it more or do she want it more? You get what I'm saying? Like, and how much pressure you're going to apply behind it. Um. Also, another thing, like, people who out there, like, they want to, oh, I want to become a lash tech. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with becoming a lash tech because I think a lot of people think, oh, it's so many yeah, it's so many, but who cares? Like, it's a, it's a lot of everything. Um, I think you should, like, people, if you want to become a last tech, you should become a last tech. I mean, and that's if you really want to do it and if you're going to have the work ethic. Because I know for me, speaking on experience and me and a teacher, it's been plenty of times where I see people just waste money because, yeah, you got the money to invest, but you don't have the work ethic to put behind it. You got to have the work ethic to put, apply that pressure to make sure that you know what I'm saying whatever you want to do it succeeds because it's one thing to take a class yeah you take a class but now it's like all right you gotta go apply what you learn you get what I'm saying it's all about applying what you learn and sometimes um people don't apply what they learn they 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 too slow on it they too nervous they too scary they just they you know and then it gets to a point where like you wait so long and it's like oh you don't feel comfortable no more you know what i'm saying then you back on instagram you look in things like that like i think when you get on instagram instagram should it should motivate you you get what i'm saying you shouldn't envy nobody on instagram you should be motivated but then to understand some things are not for everybody you know but it's nothing wrong with, like you know what i'm saying trying and seeing what's for you and what's not for you but when you say like, oh, I want to do something, you got to ask yourself why. I know for me, I started doing lashes because, one, I didn't want to get a regular job. I graduated college. I've never had a regular job. I graduated from college. I had a scholarship. I was a, tra a track athlete. I had a scholarship. I knew when I was growing up, like when people used to ask me like, Jason, what you want to be when you grow up? I never knew what I wanted to do. All I knew for a fact, I just did not want to work for nobody because I was just so bossy. I'm a natural, I'm naturally bossy. Like everything I've ever did in life, I was like a follower and then I became the leader not too long after. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I learned a lot. Like I'm a good learner. You got to be a good learner. And then, you know what I'm saying? Once you learn, you got to apply the things that you learn. You get what I'm saying? Um, so like if you want to do something, 
do it for real. Don't do it for play play. You get what I'm saying? And be serious about it. Sometimes people be like, oh, I want to do this because I see she doing this. She doing a really good job. She make a lot of money. So maybe it's going to work for me. And it don't work like that. You know? Um, but yeah, all I really have to say is like, bro, like just keep going. Like keep going. Don't get distracted. Um, especially not like don't get distracted. Make sure you have the right people around you. Um, and understand ain't nothing really easy. It's not easy. Cause I know a lot of people will say, um, it's hard for me to find, um, clients. I think that's the most excuse I've heard. It's hard for me to find clients. It's hard for me to do this. It's hard for me to do that. Um, yeah, it's hard for everybody, sis, but do it anyway. Like, are you going to stop? Like, no, just keep trying. Like, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Stop. To, don't get tired of trying. Never get tired of doing the right things. Never get tired of doing the right things. You know you need people to practice on. You know that. So why are you going to stop? Why? it? Because sometimes people be like, okay, I'm going to just take another class. I'm going to take another class. I'm going to take another class. Like, no, stop. Apply everything that you know. Like, what did you? What have you learned? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to practice on somebody. Um. So, yeah, when you want to become a lash tech or, or, or anything, anything, period, you want to do, lashes eyebrow makeup nails hair wigs front whatever you want to do when you take that class bro apply that pressure behind it like apply some pressure let people know that you serious now nah, it ain't gonna be perfect but at least you trying like everything it's levels it's levels to shit what did meat mail say meat mail was even saying in his song it's levels it's levels to it you everybody want to be up here but nobody want to work to get up here it don't make no sense you gotta work to get up here Okay, and then a lot of y'all be on Instagram. Everybody who look like they up here, not even up here. You just going on Instagram. You get what I'm saying? So if you really want to be up here, you got to work to get up here. Okay? For me, it took me three years to get here. And I ain't even finished. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, y'all, just keep going. You got it. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I hope this video was helpful for somebody. Um, yeah, and I'll have another YouTube video soon. Drop some, um, more, I'm not gonna say drop no motivation. Drop some topics, some things you want me to discuss in my next video, okay? Alright, I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in.